Disclosing Stigmatisms and Buyer's Due Diligence. Typically, clients will ask me, Mike, how do I know if there's a murder, suicide, uh, crime in the area, uh, supposed haunting, whatever it be, how do I know if that's going on in a house or certain property that's on the market? Well, actually in Massachusetts, there's a lot of confusion about this law, but in Massachusetts, it's not required for a broker to disclose any stigmatisms uh, involving any property. Uh, when asked, we have an ethical obligation to report it, but the, the law and the way that the law is written states that those things are not a material defect affecting the value of the property. Um, depending on what you believe, you know, if a house is haunted, that's not a reason for the seller to disclose that, uh, as well as the murders, suicides, crimes, etc. Um, this law was originally invented to protect people with HIV, um, and now it apply, they have broadened it so it applies to most of these things that aren't considered material defects. So do your diligence. When you're at an open house, when you're talking to your listing agent or ask your buyer's agent, you know, can you please find out if there is a stigmatism associated with this property, if that's something you care about.